Hello, and welcome to Let's Talk Midlife Crisis with your hosts, Ashley and Tracy. Pull up. Hi, guys. Today, we're going to talk about um, something that I thought was really interesting. You know, we've touched on things like journaling, vision boards, writing down goals, um, things like that. And um, I know Tracy just did an episode on um, mind fog and, and stuff like that. So I kind of thought it would be really good to go into this. You know, a lot of times um, we feel really overwhelmed and stressed out with our, our brain just kind of trying to keep track of everything. Like, you know, what are my goals? What's my list of things I need to do just day to day? How am I feeling about these situations that's going on? And you feel like you're going a million directions. And, you know, we've talked about, again, how nice it is to kind of write things down and get things on paper. Well, I discovered this thing that's called mind mapping. It's really cool. And they define it as a tool for decluttering your brain. Um, one thing that I thought was really interesting about this, it's not just, you know, I have lists of things to do, right? Short term and long term, you know, yep. and they're in my phone, they're at my desk, yep. they're, <laughs> I have post its, I have notebooks, I have, you know, stuff everywhere. And I find myself like duplicating things. <laughs> right. Right. So I'm not helping myself at all. This was kind of cool because it's more like if you're doing this on paper, you start with a topic and you write it in the middle, circle it, and then you branch off from that. So let's say diet. Right. So what are things that are going to help you feel better and keep you on track as far as eating healthy and feel well? Um, you could say less caffeine. You could say eat more vegetables. Right. Less sugar. You know, things like that. Just branch off and kind of do these things. Write down the ones that you think, A, are something that are actually achievable for yourself. Yes. Or that you feel like you probably should focus more on. Um, maybe it's a weakness that you have. You like sugar and you tend to eat a lot of it at night before you go to bed, you know. Um, but go through and like highlight the ones that you feel are achievable and most important to you. Um, and then as you accomplish those over time, you can check them off. If you want to do it like a weekly map, you can check it off throughout the week yeah. because then you feel accomplished, Yeah, you know. I have to check things off. I have to cross things out. Mm -hmm. And I just think it's so funny. I actually even have um, an Excel doc for work. Uh -huh. that um, has a little check that you can put oh, and then yeah, the yeah. line disappears, right? Yeah. It's my to-do list. But you can check things off of that. But there's just something so very um, satisfying. satisfying about crossing something I off agree. your list. I think you just feel productive and um, uh, it just it's something that I it, it resonates with yeah, me. Yeah, it so. definitely helps me feel like I'm achieving something throughout the day. Um one thing that's different with this, you know, we talked about lists, but like I said, there's kind of a chart or a graph, if you yes. will. Um, it helps your brain actually function as a whole. So both your left and right hemispheres are working together. And a lot of people, because, you know, part of our brain is very visual. Right. And the other part is more logical. Right. So a lot of people, when they do this mind mapping, they'll do, like if they say, like, I need to drink less caffeine, they'll draw like a little coffee cup. Right. And so as you're doing this and you are looking at this chart that has visuals on it, both sides of your brain are working at the same time. Um, and the reason that's beneficial is because it helps emotion management, mm -hmm. imagination, which makes sense, um, lines and color, logic, memory listing, numbers, words, expression, big picture thinking and future planning. Wow. So, so yeah, where we feel like, you know, the lists really help us. I think I'm like, well, wait a minute, maybe I could be a little more organized or benefit from these lists that I create for myself yes. more. If I do something that really does help my mind, my brain work as a whole, because the point is to make yourself feel better and relieve right. that stress and make you feel more organized. I was just going to say, for me, I think it helps me feel more organized. Mm -hmm. um, and then, of course, productive once right. you accomplish it. But definitely that organization. Yeah. When you were talking originally about, you know, all the thoughts that go through your mind, mm -hmm. right? Just on a regular basis and how, you know, perhaps that can, you know, enhance anxiety. Absolutely. Um, and stress. And affect your sleep and, and your all diet. All kinds of things. Mm -hmm. So I can definitely see how this can reel everything in. Yeah, absolutely. Um, 
So you start with the central theme. Yeah, so you start with the central thing. You kind of branch off of that. And so the first time you do it, this article that I read, the author was saying, you don't have to really focus too much on the thing you put in the middle because you're going to kind of start branching off and then branching off of that. Right. And it's going to get bigger. And and it's okay to be messy at first and then kind of look at the big picture and go, you know what? I think I need to redo this and change my topic as, you know, wellness. Right. Or, you know, mindfulness, anything like that. Or maybe I need two different graphs. I was just going to say, I wonder, can you do more than one? I have a feeling I would need multiple. Yes, absolutely. So it's kind of a form of journaling. It's kind of a form of a to-do list or goal setting. Um, So yeah, I just thought it was really cool that um, it, you know, they talked about how your brain functions as a a whole looking at these things. And then I was thinking, okay, is this... Like, is this real? Is this really, does this work? So I started reading the comments um, that people left on this article. And almost every one of them was like, I didn't believe it. I thought this was a hoax. So I did my own. And strangely, I feel very much more relaxed. And like, oh. okay, now I have a picture. Okay. You know? So. Well, for me, I'm more visual. Mm-hmm. So, um, and it, so I know automatically if I want to remember something and again, having just come off the brain fog mm-hmm. episode, <laughs> because I am suffering so much from brain fog right now. But yeah. if I want to, um, remember something, even if it's a list, like a, you know, grocery list mm-hmm. or anything, um, I'll have it written down. Um, and then I'll just look at it and stare at it for mm-hmm. a minute. It almost take like a, a picture in my mind, right. if you will. Like a mental picture. Yeah, yeah, but it definitely helps me retain information. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think we all learn differently. And I know now that that's how I learn. So I use that more right. in life. But um, and it doesn't I can only imagine how much more enhanced it would be if you know you utilize yeah, pictures yeah. if you did something online right where you Absolutely. can put your cup could of do coffee a PowerPoint. or <laughs> yes yeah. um kind of like the vision board that we yes, talked about yeah. exactly exactly yeah. but yeah and it yeah i mean it doesn't have to be day-to-day tasks um weekly tasks or anything you know it, it can be things um Maybe you're going through something, you know, a situation in your life that's really tough and you're having a hard time processing it and understanding how you feel and what to do. Um, It can be things like that. You know, it doesn't have to be, you know, these are my goals or this is what I'm doing this week or, you know, it can be any any situation you're in. Yeah. You know, like maybe you have someone in your life that you're really struggling to connect with or you're having some issues and you can just make that your focus and then branch off of that, right. you know, what, or a problem. What is, yeah. What's this person's love language? What did they do that bothered me? Right. What did I do? What, you know, associations and branches. Absolutely. Right? So yeah. you start with your main topic, then you have your associations mm-hmm. and then your branches. Right. Cause I can see how certain things could branch off into. Yeah. Into several other different. things. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So yeah, I thought that was really interesting. Um, And then another thing that I kind of stumbled upon was um, how to reset your life, because I kind of feel like this went in line with that. Ah. Um, And I think sometimes we feel like we're kind of in a rut or in a place, um, you know, I've talked. I'm nodding my head. (laughs) (laughs) I've talked multiple times about, you know, what a tough year I had and my partner had and how we're kind of trying to find our new normal and It's like, you know, there was life before all this happened, and now this is the life after. And it's just weird. Yeah. We just feel like we're in a funk. Um, And so that's why this really um, also captured my attention. Um, And they just gave some bullet points on some things that um, you can do. Um, And again, it could be anything. It could be the loss of someone. It could be, you know, some troubles you're having in your relationship or in any relationship. It can be your job. Um, It could just be aging. Right. We've talked a lot about that and how challenging that can be for some people um though we're trying to embrace it and and make it a positive thing sometimes it you know it can be really challenging um the first thing they said was to acknowledge the situation um awareness is always the first step right in you know what is it i need to change or want to change what is i'm struggling with you know anything like that um and again they talked a lot about putting it all on paper yeah because most people are visual. Some aren't. 
Right. Um, and, and they have, you know, personality tests you can take if you're not really sure what you are right. or how you work best. But um, the second thing they did was take, said was take a break. Um, ah. And this is something that's come up for me um, in therapy and also in having conversations with my partner um, where we both kind of feel like we're not being the best we can be, not just with ourselves, but to each other. Right. And sometimes it's nice to just maybe take a break. And if you can't go anywhere, maybe it's just, you know what, I'm going to take a weekend and just stay in and not go see my friends. I'm just going to binge watch Netflix and order yeah. takeout. And, yeah. <laughs> you know, sometimes that's just what you have to do for a day. Or... Um, another thing they pointed was review your goals, values, and life purpose. Um, and that's why I kind of felt like this tied into the mind mapping. Um, because, again, writing that stuff down and just kind of getting it out of your head and on paper right. can really help you figure out what's most important to you and the things you can do to achieve that. Very true. And for those that maybe aren't into journaling, so it's not like you, I think mapping gives a different type of journaling. Yeah. So you're not just writing exactly. sentences after sentences. That's, I think, how I am. Like, I, right? I'm not, like, you know, it's so funny because I tell my kids all the time like are you keeping a journal yeah. are you and i don't even keep one i know i don't either i don't either i have my um my list of things my you know wants needs and you uh -huh. know gratitude list yeah um but um for my laws of attraction and all of that manifestation but i don't keep a journal i mm -hmm. used to when i was younger yeah. and boy do i wish i could find those i oh, wish i, I have, held, uh, held I on to those mine, and believe me Paige has had such a fun time reading it. oh that's funny <laughs> it started i think when i was like eight years old and went up yeah. to like 15 yeah you know? oh okay that's funny <laughs> it is funny <laughs> yeah but i think some people you know don't want to necessarily sit down and write a book mm -hmm. if you will but maybe mapping is something mm -hmm. you know different and we like we just mentioned you could use online to put visuals in there right um, and you can also type a journal it yeah. doesn't have to be handwritten I True. I personally prefer typing I can type much faster than I can write yeah. and it's easier to read because my handwriting is right. terrible mine is getting really bad I don't think I, I just don't like to do it so besides my signature I don't really <laughs> write anything anymore yeah you know? yeah but, that's true yeah um so yeah i mean there's different ways to do it um you know like i said i'm i'm not big on journaling but i am big on lists and yep. when i'm going through a challenging time and feeling the need to express myself and and oftentimes i like to do it i'll do it like in my phone in my notes yeah before i share it Right. Because I feel like I need to sort through this. I need to understand what I'm feeling and kind of get it out and then read it and go, okay, I feel better. I got it out. Now these right. are the points that I really want to share, you know, that right. I, you know, so, so I'll do yeah. it before therapy or I'll do it, you know, if I have, you know, an issue with a, a kid or my partner or anything like that. It's just for me, oh, it kind of, yeah, right. it really helps me. I, I don't like. I'm, identify I'm, later, right? Go back yeah, and identify and I, feelings or... I know it's been challenging for um, partners I've had in the past and, and even my current one and probably even my kids and my parents and everyone that knows me. <laughs> but I really, when something happens or I'm upset about something or I'm hurt, I tend to shut down. Right. I do too. Initially. Same. Initially, it's just like, shut down, boop, I'm going to protect myself. Yeah. But I'm still feeling all that. And I still know that it needs to be dealt with. Right. And so, but I need, I just need that space for a minute. And so sometimes I'll take that time to go, okay, this, I'm going to put all this out there and keep it to myself. And then I feel better. And then I can go back and say, okay. I'm ready you to know, share. I don't want to yeah. say anything that, I don't want to lash out. I don't want to say anything right. I'm going to regret. I don't want to dig up old dirt. I don't want right. to, I don't like going down right. that road. It's like, what is the issue? How do I feel? And am I the one and that needs to you apologize? Filter. Like for me, it helps me filter mm -hmm. things out to where, you know, some things I might have just said in the heat of yes. the moment or that was emotionally driven. Yes. But by us, you know, shutting ourselves down mm -hmm. and I don't even want to say processing it, but just giving ourselves time. Yes. I think for me personally, it helps me filter what mm -hmm. ends up Absolutely. coming out. And, That's and I think really handle it 
more logically. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Um, fortunately, Paige has been the, I mean, honestly, the best at understanding that about me and giving me that time and space. Um, I've been in relationships where they don't deal with that well. Right. And it's like, no, we're doing this right now. Yeah. And that doesn't help. No. <laughs> it doesn't. That doesn't if work. If anything, it makes it much worse. <laughs> right. Definitely. Definitely. So um, another point they brought up, and this is kind of funny because this is something that um, I've discovered about myself that really helps me with any kind of situation, whether it's stress or being upset or anything, honestly. Um, they say to clean. Oh, a um, lot of people do. Yeah. Like, a lot of people. And I do find myself, yeah. if I'm like really stressed out or overwhelmed or unhappy or something, it's like, I'm just going to clean this damn kitchen. I'm going to clean out the fridge. I'm going to wipe the shelves down. I'm going to, right. you know, and I feel better after. I'm like, wow, this looks yeah. really nice. It feels nice. Yeah. <laughs> I used to go for a walk. I would just like hit the door yeah. and, and yeah. just go for a walk. And then, you know, through that walk, by the time I got back, I would always feel a little bit better. Right. Um, yeah. Yeah. But I think um, it helps when you're doing the mind mapping, it helps your mind wander mm-hmm. as well. Yes. So, and maybe that's just channeling thoughts mm-hmm. in a specific direction versus having them all going off in your head. Exactly. You yeah. know, simultaneously. Yeah, right? because then you can sit down and kind of map out all these emotions that you're feeling and then look at it as a whole and go, well, I think I. Maybe I'm not really feeling that. Maybe I'm feeling this more. Right. You know, and kind of and cross things off. Like, I mean, you can make it whatever you want and, and really help you identify what you're really thinking or feeling. And, and because, maybe it's all of it. And it just feels good to get it down. Or maybe paper. you don't know, right? Yeah, so yeah. maybe leave a blank space for unexpected topics mm-hmm. or new thoughts, right? right? Because when you're going down, um, you know, that path. Right. You might think of something that ordinarily, you know, it exactly. wouldn't have come to you yeah. top of mind. Especially as you're kind of branching off, you know, right. off of other words. Yeah. And especially like if you're trying to, you know, stop drinking so much caffeine or coffee, mm-hmm. but then you realize that, you know, on your way to work every day, you stop at Starbucks or, mm-hmm. you know, part of, you know, the path that you know you take to get there that yeah, you that was, don't even think about exactly. right exactly it's just becomes yeah. you know like yeah. routine which is another thing that they mentioned was create new routines yes yes um and quitting smoking that was that's very important huge very yes. important yeah. i think that i think routine is big for a lot of people in a lot of ways whether um you're trying to improve your diet you know you get used to eating certain things at certain times of the day or you have cravings and you just given to them very easily, um, trying to find ways to be more disciplined or, um, I'm very much all about a routine. Yes, me too. And actually I didn't even realize how bad excuse <laughs> me, or how much so that I was until a coworker years ago uh-huh. had brought it to my attention. And it was actually a superior that had brought it to my oh, attention. Like, you know, you're fabulous, you know, whatever, whatever. But then yeah. it was like, but, you know, if things take an unexpected path, you're you, not the like, first, you know, yeah. you know, whatever they said. But it just made me stop to think that, um, you know, I don't. I could handle it much better okay. than I do. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. That, I think that's hard for a lot of people. Um, I definitely have struggled with stuff like that, with change. Yeah. And it's like, no, that's not yeah. the way that things are supposed to be. This is the way things are supposed to be. This is what happens, you know. Right. Um, and I've finding your truth. What is your truth, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, I've, yeah. I think I've gotten better as, at it as I get older. Um, I'm probably a little more relaxed than I was when I was yeah, younger. Yeah, <laughs> I think we all are. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, I think changing routines is huge for anything that you're trying to do in your life as far as resetting or, you know, improving or anything like that. That's a very big one. Um, and again, I think the journaling... The, the brain mapping, that type of stuff can help you kind of achieve that, you know? Yeah. And figure out what it is you need to do to accomplish it. I love this. I've never heard of mind map yeah, or mind mapping before, yeah. but um, it's fairly popular. I, I know. I, I was like, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool. I thought it was really interesting. You know, it rem- reminded me of when I was um, younger in school on the Blackboard, they would do stuff like that right you know like this 
here's the topic. This is what happens when this, you know. Right. Like, do you right. remember seeing stuff like that? Yeah. Like the bubbles and yeah. the lines? Yeah. 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 It kind of reminded me of that. And I was like, I don't think I've actually seen one since I was young. <laughs> or even a family tree, right? Right. That, yeah, yeah, absolutely. But they say also, you know, that you can use colors. Yes. As well. Highlighters um, and things highlighters, like that. Highlighters, different color ink, mm-hmm. um, all kinds of stuff like that, I think, yeah. is a stimuli as well yeah. to your brain. So for me, even... I think maybe more subconsciously Mm -hmm. than consciously, but even when I'm working, if I'm, you know, communicating, sending correspondence and I want to highlight something, I don't always choose yellow, right? You know, sometimes I'm like, oh, well, and I'll pick a different color. And in my mind, I know why I'm doing that, Mm -hmm. right? It's like, well, you know, I don't want it to be the bright yellow calling out. Let's just use a a mellow blue, Right, because yeah. then it'll call it out, but not as strong. And but I definitely know that in my mind, I'm associating those colors mm-hmm. with how it's going to be interpreted on the other end. Right. So. Yeah, and I've done that with you know things for work as well, where I'll use like a blue and a purple and a green. Yeah. And you know, and I'll have a key like, and I it, in my head, right? You know, yeah. like I, it's just a spreadsheet that I use right. for myself. But I know what blue means. I know what right. purple means. And, and sometimes I've legended things. out if I'm doing yeah. an Excel spreadsheet and I color code all the columns, I'll have a key at yeah. the bottom. I'll yeah. definitely do a legend. So, <clears throat> yeah. But yeah, I thought that was an interesting topic. Um, I haven't tried it yet, so we'll, we might have to do a follow up. Yeah, I haven't I, tried it. I do either. want to try it. Has anybody tried it? Let us know. Reach out on any of our social channels. Um, if you tried it, how does it work for you? Um, and maybe some key concepts or ideas Mm -hmm. that we haven't mentioned. Are we missing something on that? Um, But yeah, creating um, a mind map is, it's a little bit of work, you know? Um, I think it could be fairly easy though. I think I, for me personally, I think once I sit down and start, it's just going to blossom and go from right. there and just grow. Right. So. But again, I think everybody um, is different. Mm-hmm. Oh, you yeah. Know, and everybody's minds are different, um, you know, and maybe the principles of how the brain naturally organizes and connects information, making it a powerful method for right. visual thinking would be a little bit different for one from one person to the other person. Mm-hmm. Um, but Again, it's all about you, yeah. right? And what, yeah. works, what works for, for you. you. So I wouldn't worry about, um, you know, if you do some research on it and it doesn't necessarily look like, mm-hmm. you know, anything else that you're seeing out there. Um, don't let that intimidate you. Just Or, yeah, I mean, if you're not sure what what kind of personality you are, they have a lot of personality tests on online. Yeah. And they're free, they're easy to take, and it kind of gives you a description of the way you know, after to answering these questions, the way your brain works. Right. So it can help you understand what might work best for you. Right. So, yeah, that's yeah. awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thanks for joining us. And please reach out to us on social media, on our website. We'd love to hear your thoughts and any um, experience you've had with mind mapping. And that just about wraps it up for today. Thank you for joining us on Let's Talk Midlife Crisis. Embrace the change. Join the conversation on our website at letstalkmidlifecrisis.com or our Facebook or Instagram and YouTube channels. We'd love to hear from you guys.